So Vikram Solar is uh, India's only Bloomberg Tier 1 uh, rated module manufacturer. Uh, so we have a capacity of about 500 megawatts and going up to 900 megawatts by the end of this year of module capacity. Uh, overall, we have uh, an OEM experience of about 130 megawatts um, and uh, EPC experience of 100, uh, 130 megawatts and ONM experience of about uh, 70 to 80 megawatts. Uh, this year, we are executing more than 400 megawatts of EPC uh, as EPC uh, solution provider to uh, government PSU projects. So typically we invest at least 3% uh, to 5% of our profits in, uh, in R&D and uh, our R&D depends on uh, uh, module R&D, basically module R&D and uh, we, we do a lot of uh, research on materials, on processes, on uh, process innovations as well as product innovations and uh, do a lot of testing and qualification on for reliability uh, for, of, this mod, of, of modules uh, as a module manufacturer. So Vikram Solar is one of the largest uh, domestic manufacturers uh, in the country today. Uh, we have uh, a very uh, high percentage of share of the domestic module market um, and we have submitted our manufacturing commitments to the Prime Minister of Manufacturing Capacity Enhancement Commitments and we are going as per that. So we are going to invest in uh, further capacity expansion of up to 2 gigawatt by 2019 and we are going to also invest in cell manufacturing and we'll have about 500 megawatt of cell manufacturing by 2019 as well. So as a big domestic player, we will be there in the market in, in a large, uh, taking a large market share uh, of the domestic market and support Make in India as well as the 100 uh, gigawatt program of uh, Prime Minister Modi. So, uh, actually the numbers on module manufacturing is quite high now, it's not 2,800, it is over 6,000 megawatts. Panel manufacturing capacity expansion has, has happened in a very large way as compared to the cell expansion. Uh, however, so there is clearly a mismatch between cell and module manufacturing. So anti-dumping doesn't have anything to do with the, uh, with the uh, capacity that the country has. Anti-dumping is a is a legal issue. So if it can be proved that the party or the entity which is uh, subjected to anti-dumping duty has actually sold this product in a particular geography below the cost price or he has undercut the his own cost price structure and he has sold products in a particular uh, geography, then he is he will be subjected to an anti dumping duty. That's the legal interpretation. Uh, we had anti dumping duty investigation on a number of Chinese uh, manufacturers, Chinese, Taiwanese, and uh, American manufacturers in uh, 2012, 2013, which, when the government came up with a massive expansion of the project uh, outlay of the of solar, was actually uh, done away with when uh, the the NDA government, uh, sorry, the BJP government uh, came to power, and but that uh, uh, so that anti-dumping uh, issue was was dealt with at that point of time in the right way. What we feel because at that time anti-dumping was was really not required. What was required was a large growth in the market. Today, if there is an investigation on anti-dumping that is initiated. It has to be proved that the, the entities who are actually bringing in products, selling in a 
geography below the cost price, only then they are they be subjected to anti dumping. That's the regular process. We do not stand for anti dumping as Vikram Solar. We don't uh, believe in anti dumping because it, it actually uh, uh, creates a different dynamics in the market. Uh, but uh, in solar, there are a lot of changes that happen uh, as the market progresses and sometimes you actually can see that this dumping is happening. If that is the case, then the law has to take its course. So what I think the government should do, it, they should create a category of projects where Domestic modules can be used irrespective of domestic sales. If you use domestic modules by procuring sales from outside, the group of module manufacturers who have 6,000 megawatt of capacity in the country, they can actually uh, bid for project or they can supply modules for projects that come with uh, domestic module category and they can still achieve. Uh, government's vision of Make in India as well as encouragement to, to the domestic module manufacturers. That is what I feel is the uh, requirement or the need of the hour. I think the biggest challenge that a manufacturer faces is uh, running their factories uh, always at optimal levels of capacities. So, if you are utilizing your capacities to the maximum, then you can actually achieve, you know, uh, your fixed costs can be amortized over a large volume of production and your product costs can come down. If you do not run capacities at uh, optimum levels, optimum levels at least 90 to 95%, then your product cost, the fixed cost can actually impact your product cost and you can be very quickly uncompetitive in the market. So the biggest challenge that we have faced is to create markets and to run our capacities at the optimum level, optimum level, at least more than 85 to 90 percent and that is where we have, we have actually uh, solved those challenges and that's what has made, made us more successful than others. So Vikram Solar, as on date, uh, we are selling in uh, all over the world, uh, in uh, US, in Europe, in Japan, Middle East, um, in the SARC countries. We are planning to expand our territories in South America, um, South Africa, uh, Southeast Asia, Australia. So we have been doing some seed selling in those areas, in those geographies already. And these are the markets that we are trying to develop over the course of time. So, uh, as far as announcements go, uh, I think towards the end of the year, we are going to commission our completed module uh, fab, so a 900 megawatt functional module fab. So, that is what is coming up. Uh, um, we are also commissioning uh, uh, two very large PSU projects, which will get commissioned by, the, by March and uh, expect those, those announcements out before the end of the financial year. Uh, plus, there are lots of things that are happening in terms of technology partnerships, in terms of uh, MOUs that we are signing and as we go on doing them or as we go on executing them, we will, uh, we will inform the press about it.